are going to be leaving shortly, but I wanted to show you what is going in my car carry-on um, for the trip. We'll have about a two-hour drive. I am using my Madewell transport satchel, which you guys know I love. Super adorable. It's great for this trip. First thing going in are three magazines, Living Etc., Vogue, and Porter Magazine. Next is my new Lois Term 1917 bullet journal since the other one met its demise yesterday. My new book that I'm starting, Lilac Girls. Um, next, I have my Oh My Bag Amsterdam pencil case. You guys know how I feel about this one. In it, I have my Grayscale Tombos, two black flare pens, um, a cloth and paper pen. My Louis Vuitton that has my iPhone earbuds and my charging cable. My Chanel card case just so I don't have to carry a big wallet with me while we're there. And I'm taking two pairs of sunglasses. Um, one is like an old junky pair of Ray-Bans that I don't care on the hike if they would get damaged or anything like that. They're just super comfortable. And then my Gucci round glasses as well, which you guys know I love these. Got my iPhone. So many of you guys have asked about this. I'll leave the case that I bought off of Amazon. It was super cheap and it feels like real leather. It looks good with this bag. And then I just added a Dymo label onto it. I love the way it looks. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts So, um, we just woke up. It's around 8 a.m. We kind of slept in a little bit, and now we are just getting ready to head up to breakfast. We had breakfast and uh, had some coffee, and now we are heading out for a hike, and we're going to see what we find. So, let's get going.
sweaty. It's about 80 degrees, but we hiked two and a half miles down into the gorge and then two and a half miles out of the gorge. It was tiring. How are you feeling? Uh. <laughs> Steven feels eh. Bubba survived, but uh, yeah, we're gonna fill up our water bottles, take some showers, and then we're gonna relax and just read a little bit and enjoy the outside. Have a wine tasting? We just finished up at a winery. Um, it was dog friendly, so we were able to take Bubba's in. Um, it was a lot of fun. And we ended up buying three bottles of wine. And uh, now we're gonna drive around and see if there are any other wineries we wanna go to. Bubba's was a great wine taster. He has a very refined palate. So many of you have been asking me like, what's in your toiletry case for this camping trip? And it's a lot of my usual stuff, but I thought I'd share it with you. First of all, my toiletry case is from the company Casper & Cole. I randomly found this on like a Facebook feed and I bought it immediately. It has become one of my favorite toiletry cases. It's a big like bucket style toiletry case and then there's elastic bands on the inside so it keeps everything upright and really organized. I'm just gonna reach in, grab, and tell you what's in here. So the first thing is my Elemis Biotech Skin Energizing Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser. It is anti-aging. Um, it's super gentle. I just really, really love it. This is like the fourth bottle of the stuff that I've gone through. Um, next is my Coors After Sun Greek Yogurt. I actually just put this on because I got a little sun during the hike. A deodorant. My By Terry Cellurose Brightening CC Serum. Um, and I get the shade Apricot Glow. I love it. I just put it on after I wash my face because it's just skincare. Makes my skin look really great. Um, my Chanel UV Essential Sunblock, I put this on right before the walk, all over my face and on the back of my neck. Um, then I do have my Le Mer Serum, I put this on after I wash my face at night. I also have my Rose Hibiscus, I actually took this on the hike with me and used it a couple times. Um, I just love it, I'm actually going to use it right now because... so great. It's still one of my favorite things. Herbivore is just an amazing company. Um, I did bring a hairspray just in case we wanted to go somewhere a little bit nicer, but this hair is just doing whatever it wants, so I don't need that. Um, some Colgate whitening toothpaste. My La Mer Soft Cream. I put this on right before we went to bed. This toothbrush, it is is my favorite toothbrush. I love it more than any electronic toothbrush. I feel it cleans my teeth better. I got it off a of Net-A-Porter. It is my favorite toothbrush of all time. It's just phenomenal. Um, I'll leave it linked down below. I don't even remember the company and the name has worn off, but it is my favorite, favorite toothbrush. I will take this over an electronic toothbrush all day long. I use this every single day. Um, oh, I love this stuff. This is a the Smith's Rosebud Salve. It is a really great balm for your lips. It has no tint to it, um, but super hydrating, soaks in, doesn't leave your lips feeling greasy. It's a good lip balm. I also have my La Mer lip balm because you always need more than one. I also brought my um, Glossier Halo Scope. This was just to make my skin look really healthy um, and glowy in case we were going out at night, um, but we didn't do anything. We went downtown, but we had no desire. We're enjoying the campsite. And then I also brought my stretch concealer just in case I had some dark circles or any blemishes I need to conceal. I have some contacts. I went ahead and flipped the bag inside out for you and you can see that there are all these like elastic loops to hold everything upright, some mesh pockets, and you all also know how I feel about a palm print. So this is right in my alley. Um, as far as tonight, we are probably going to have a little bit of wine here and then um, go up to the campsite. Um, they have like this really beautiful communal area um, with like two different fire pits going and bocce ball and um, we met some amazing people last night. Last night we talked to 
um, a designer for Marc Jacobs. He was incredibly smart. Um, they were from France, and they've moved here to the States. Um, I met a lady from London who um, negotiates with governments around health care. And then we also met the graphic designer for the Kardashians. Um, he also has done their music for their show. Um, just a really eclectic a TV producer as well. And we just had like an awesome conversation, all getting to know each other. It's interesting because we each come from a different country. We each come from a very different line of work. And we all connected through being kind and hospitable and sharing experiences and stories. And it was really, really great. Um, it was a really great evening. So we'll go back up tonight and hopefully chit chat with some new people and meet some new friends. Um, but right now, Stephen just took Bubba's for a walk and um, I'm just relaxing. It's kind of amazing. Go outside, go for a walk. Bubby got himself in the tent, but now cannot get himself out of the tent. He keeps on stepping on the screen. Come on. Come on, Bubby. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Get out here. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Good boy. Lay right here. Lay right between us. Lay right here. Oh, so emotional. This is a good book. I what? recommend it as one of my July favorites. <laughs> what is it? The Ministry of Utmost Happiness by Aaron Daddy Roy. She won the Booker Prize in 1997. Are you going to start doing July favorites? I think I should. What, I, I would recommend this. What else would be on your favorites? Um, on my July favorites. Can we do like cars? A car? Or like my car. <laughs> What's your skincare favorite for July? Uh, Dove Body Wash. His July favorites is not that entertaining gang. It's cheap. I think I got some sun today on my face. Are you talking to me or to them? Well, your nose got burnt. I'm oh, talking yeah. to them. But I definitely look like I got some sun. Yikes. Price sweat off the sunblock. What's your July favorites, Bubby? The Wegmans All Natural Can Dog Food. from New York City. We met a woman who was just like having her own eat, pray, love journey across America. She worked for Starbucks for 17 years. Um, and yeah, it's just great to meet new people um, that are so lovely and so nice. Um, but it is now going on 11 o'clock at night. We're going to do a little bit of reading and then head off to bed. Good morning, everybody. It is our last full day here at the campsite. And because of that, I've made the decision that I'm not going to vlog today. Instead, I'm just going to enjoy the day and make the most of it, like I tell all of you to do. So I don't want to have to worry about cameras or filming or any of that and just have a lot of fun. But I hope this has given you a great glimpse into glamping and what it is like. So I'm going to leave this vlog like I leave all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, bye-bye. Thank you.